Uh, let's talk a little bit about what the BOJ is expected to do because the consensus right now is that they will, uh, they will at some point in time get rid of the bond buying program, the target of 80 trillion yen. Governor Kuroda already mm. last month talked about uh, tapering that to 60 trillion yen. They have already dropped the purchases. So when will they, in fact, get rid of the target altogether? Well, um, I think uh, it was clear uh, when uh, they announced the yield curve control that the, uh, the amount they going to purchase is endogenous, which means that uh, its market determines given the price. So uh, it's not uh, surprising that it's dropping from 80 to 60 and soon to 40 and eventually to, to zero. So it's not already ta not targeted. So um, uh, it's up to the market how it's going to reduce to zero. So, Professor, I understand exactly what you're saying. It's as though uh, the Bank of Japan is going to buy as many or as few JGBs as it needs to to keep the yield at, at zero. Around zero. Around zero. Right. So how would you explain to the markets that, you guys, this really isn't tapering? Because people mm. are, many people are already calling this a tapering compared to, like, when the Fed was tapering, mm -hmm. it's quantitative easing, it's bond purchases. Well, the um, uh, important thing they decided is the uh, yield curve and so the overnight and 10-year yields. So um, uh, how much you have to buy uh, is not uh, important.